Let's calculate the line integral of the given vector function from a to b. Let's first start by defining what a line integral is. A line integral is the integral of the vector function times dl, where dl is the infinitesimal displacement vector that I can define as x hat dx plus y hat dy plus z hat dz and this is assuming I'm in, in the three-dimensional space. And then the integral is evaluated along a path from points A to B. And if this was a closed loop or closed path, or A is equal to B, then I would denote it with a circle. But in this problem, I, I'm not doing that, so I don't have to worry about that. So let's start by doing the yellow path. The yellow path, as you can see in the figure, has two segments, one and two. So the way we'll do this is by evaluating each segment and then summing them up together. So let's start by looking at segment one, which is just that horizontal piece. Now because it's horizontal and it only changes with respect to x, that implies that dl is just x hat d dx because y is constant. In this case, y is equal to 1. And now if I wanted to write what v dot dl is, it's just y squared dx, and we just dis defined that um, y is constant, so this is just dx. So when I'm evaluating the line integral of that, of that little segment, all I'm looking at is dx from 1 to 2, which is just, num which is just 1. So that is one piece. The second piece is that vertical line segment. Now it's flipped. In this case, I'm changing only with respect to y, and x is held constant. So this time dl is y hat dy, and x is constant equal to 2, as we can see from the figure. And if I was going to write v dot dl, again, this time, going back to my vector function, 2x, y plus 1, dy, and because x is equal to 2, this becomes 4, y plus 1, dy, and so the line integral I'm evaluating is, I'll take the 4 outside of the integral, because it's just a constant, is going to be y plus 1, dy, evaluated from 1 to 2. And again, I'm getting this information from the picture. Now, to actually do the integral, it's pretty simple. The integral of y is y squared over 2, and then the integral of 1 is y, and I am evaluating it from 1 to 2, so that becomes 4 times uh, 4 minus 3 halves, which is equal to 4 times 5 halves, which is equal to 10. So now, looking at the entire yellow path, summing up the two segments, so adding 1 plus 10, my line integral from a to b of the vector function v is just 1 plus 10, which is equal to 11. And so that is basically what the line integral of path 1 is. Now let's look at the white path. The white path is that linear line segment. So defining that line is also pretty simple. In that case, y is just equal to x, which implies that dx is equal to dy. And because I'm changing in both the x and y direction, this time dl is x hat dx plus y hat dy. But because y is equal to x and dx is equal to dy, I can set them equal to each other. So it becomes, I'm, I can re work in respect with one variable because it's the same thing. And you can pick either one and it will work either way. So basically what I'm saying is v dot dl if I'm going to solve this with respect to x, because y is equal to x, I can do that. I can say um, x squared 
dx plus 2x, and again I'm looking at my vector function, x plus 1, dx is equal to 3x squared plus um, 2x dx is, is basically what I'm going to be integrating. So I'm integrating from 1 to 2, 3x squared plus 2x dx. And now if you wanted to do it with respect to y, you should get the same result. It's the same exact thing. Um, the, the main idea or the point I'm trying to get across is the fact that dx or the fact that y and x are equal, meaning dx and dy are equal, you can solve this with respect to one variable. So now integrating this integral, I get um, x cubed plus x squared evaluated from 1 to 2, which is equal to 12 minus 2, which is equal to 10. Now, if you wanted, if you are comparing the, these two paths and you realize that they have different values, you should not be surprised by this result because line integrals are path dependent and these two paths are different. So the fact that we get two different values for the line integral for different paths should not be surprising. And that's it.